some key data points or emerging issues that happened since last week, and you heard Chair Johnston speak about one. The PPE was critical. Um, someone asked me from the media uh, gallery last time, what would be, what would be a barrier to preventing you to open? And, and we said clearly the PPE that we ordered had to come in, and it has, and it has to be delivered to schools. So we have a, I call PPE Central uh, uh, at our board office, where there's a team working around the clock, um, begging, sorting, and getting it to schools. Number two, uh, the outbreak protocol from the province came last week, and that was critical. Uh, we still need to make our protocols visible to our community. We heard that loud and clear. So our goal is by the end of this week to have that, if not sooner, because we now have to review the, the provincial outbreak protocol with all our procedures. And that is something the ministry has been clear about. We need consistency, and parents need to know how will it be managed if there's someone who might be ill, or if there's someone who is um, who has con contracted COVID-19. Another key data point was our elementary enrollment. We have about 37,000 students, and about 17% of those who registered to date said they wanted remote learning full-time. That's 6,300, and those who hadn't registered, their default is to go into a classroom. Uh, and this weekend, we've been working uh, long hours with all the staff to get our staffing. So our commitment was to get staffing and schools reorganized and to get the reserve funding that the trustees passed, $9 million, to lower our class averages in kindergarten and in grade four and eight. Our, typically our class averages are around just under 26 in kindergarten, uh, and in four to eight it's about 24.5. So with additional 80 plus um, staff we put in, we've been able to lower our class averages to about 21 in kindergarten and 4, 8, 21. And of course, our grade one to three across the province are capped between 20 and 23, so we're about 21. So that's been a, a helpful resource, uh, one-time funding for this year to address it, but that's being implemented as of